how to create Ashcat session, run it, then stop it, and start from where you have stopped without losing any data. Let's begin. Open a terminal and navigate the folder that you are working on. And as you can see, we have a cap file in this folder. Let's convert it with cap to hashcat utility script from a cap file to hash cap file in order to get the hash. And as you can see, we have we got the hash file. Now let's run attack hashcat dash m22000 for WPA dash a3 for boot first double dash and the word session and the session name in this case session one. But you can enter any session name that you want. File location and the mask you like to use. As you can see now, if we click C for checkpoint, it will stop from wherever we just start. As you can see, we stop in one percent. Now, in order to restore the session from where we are stopped, just run the command hashcat double dash session and the session name in this case session one dash dash restore. And as you can see, it starts from same place we have stopped, uh, 1.25%. Okay, let's click again on the checkpoint and run the restoration command again. And as you can see, click S for status and you can see it start from the same place we have just stopped. Let's click C to stop the session. Let's make another example, this time with a word list. Okay, so the syntax is hashcat dash M22000 for WPA hash type, dash A0 for word list, then double dash the word session and the name of the session, in this case session two, the hash file location and the word list location. Press S for status. Let's give it to get to like 5% of all the word combination and then click C for checkpoint. Okay, now if you want to restart from where we stop, just write the command hashcat double dash session and the session name in this case session two, double dash restore, and as you can see, it start from 5%. Let's give the session run a bit and click on the C4 checkpoint. Okay, it stop. And if you want to restart, just run the same restore command. And as you can see, press S for status. And we start from 10%. And another important notice that if you would like to see where all those configurations stored, just navigate to the Hashcat session folder. And you can see session one dot restore, that's the configuration file, and session two dot. If you take a look, you can see save all the um, command we just run. And that's it basically. So don't de don't delete those files because if you delete those files, you cannot start from where you stop the session. Okay, thank you very much and have a nice day. Like, subscribe, and God bless you. Cheers.